Welcome back. You're watching Vion. Thanks for staying with us. Now, it sounds like science fiction, a diamond that uses nuclear waste to generate electricity. But a team of scientists at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom plans to turn the concept of a diamond battery into reality. The new technology promises to help clean nuclear waste, produce clean electricity and improve battery life. Vion's Mandy Clark brings you this story. See, these are examples of synthetic diamonds. It hardly seems like a gem, but this lab-made diamond has a beauty of its own. It's able to produce a charge simply by being placed near a radioactive source. The researchers used nuclear waste from a government decommissioning site and exposed their diamond to radioactive material. Neil Fox and Tom Scott are leading the team. They say the process of charging the diamond helps reduce radioactivity. It takes it across the threshold from being intermediate level nuclear waste to low level nuclear waste. And that's where you get the really big cost saving. Uh, you significantly reduce the, uh, the amount of work that's got to be done to do the cleanup. But don't expect these batteries to charge a mobile phone or a city block. It's for low wattage devices. It's, it's simply for all of these small devices uh, that you have around the home, maybe on your car, uh, that are deployed down an oil well or at the bottom of the sea or in space which require a small amount of power to keep a sort of a heartbeat of operation uh, over a very long period of time. These diamonds are made in the lab and it takes over a day to grow them. The scientists say that when the diamond battery is made radioactive, it is then encased within another diamond, the hardest known substance, making it safe to use. That would make it safe enough, for example, to have, think about having these as, as implants under your skin. The appeal of the battery is wide-ranging and is crossover in many industries. They would be ideal for powering equipment that needs to run reliably for a long time, like pacemakers, drones, satellites and spacecraft. It's a facilitating technology um, and, and yeah, if, if you were an inventor then that's the kind of thing that you would want to invent, something that everybody needs. But don't expect to see these batteries on the store shelves anytime soon. They're still in the early phases of research, examining ways to improve the prototype. And even though there might be a lot of private sector interest, scientists say if it all goes well, the diamond batteries will only be available for commercial release in five to ten years. Mandy Clark, Weon, Bristol.